Ukrainian forces continue shelling the border areas of Belgorod region. In turn, Russian troops are engaged in counter-battery warfare and strikes on identified enemy firing points. In the Starobilsk direction, Russian troops continue their offensive in the Serebryansky forestry area. The Ukrainian command is throwing newly arrived units into the battle, trying by all means to regain the initiative in the area. Near Bakhmut, the enemy significantly increased pressure on the flanks. The attacks on Berkivka and Klishivka do not stop. The Russian command expects even greater intensification of combat operations in this section of the front. To the south, Ukrainian forces hold a bridgehead at the Kurdyumivka Dam, located on the Seversky Donets Donbass Channel. Active actions of the AFU in this direction may lead to the exit to the flank of the Russian grouping near Bakhmut. North of Avdiivka, the enemy conducted a series of counterattacks on Russian positions near the village of Vesele. All the advancing units were defeated on the approaches to the village. In the Vremivka sector, the front line is currently at the line Staromayorske, Priyutna. Russian artillery is continually firing on the advancing enemy, and infantry units are occupying new defensive positions. In the Zaporizhia direction, the situation has not changed significantly. Despite statements by the Ukrainian media about reaching the northern outskirts of Robotyne, the front line runs one and a half kilometers from the border of the village. The situation around the Zaporizhia NPP is deteriorating. Both a breakthrough by the AFU on the left bank to seize the plant and massive strikes on the nuclear waste storage facility are not ruled out. In the Kherson direction, the operation to eliminate the AFU bridgehead on Antonovsky Island continues. Despite all efforts, the enemy still controls the territory both near the bridge itself and in the summer houses to the west.